Hello guys, Dan here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, I will show you how to paint uh, Jinko uh, from the uh, beyond Operation Kalstrom uh, for the Yuqing army. Uh, so far on the channel, we painted Yuqing so many times uh, using uh, contrast, uh, using uh, normal paint schemes. Uh, uh, in this one, I will try to show you how to paint it uh, not to the high level, just to the beginner level, uh, but using the color scheme uh, on the box. So, we will use mostly Vallejo paints to achieve that. I primed the model with the Redbone spray because uh, I was expecting to do it with a contrast paint, uh, but later I changed my mind. So actually, it is not important to be the Redbone. You can paint it uh, in any uh, bright color, gray or white. First color that we will start applying will be uh, orange brown, and uh, I will use this uh, paint to block uh, all the armor panels uh, and uh, the rim of her cloak. Uh, I put this paint on a wet palette and I added a couple of drops of water so it have a good flow. Uh, and then I just covered uh, all the places that I want to be in this color uh, with the two uh, very thin coats. For the next step, uh, I will block uh, her green color of her cloak. Uh, to get this tone of color, I mix a heavy black green uh, with the periscopes uh, around the 50-50 mixture. So you will get uh, this exactly tone uh, as I got. Uh, and then I added uh, one or two drops of water to the mix, uh, just so I can have a good flow. Uh, and then I went around and uh, painted her cloak uh, in uh, two uh, very thin coats. Uh, after applying the first coat, uh, you will see that you can still see some white uh, from under it. Uh, but after applying the second one, you will get uh, perfect coverage. Then for the next step, uh, I pick up a chocolate brown and I painted uh, her hair. And uh, I used uh, this color for all the leather belts uh, and the gun holsters that she have. This was a really fast process uh, blocking all these colors. I think I haven't spent uh, more than 15 minutes in total uh, of painting all these base colors. And the last base color that we need to apply will be a black. Uh, so we will paint everything that's left unpainted uh, into the black paint. And here it is our model after uh, all the base colors on it. Uh, so you can see if on some places you can see little white from the primer, uh, but don't worry about it after the wash, uh, all those white uh, spots uh, will disappear. Uh, for the wash, uh, I mixed the mid brown. Uh, with the quick shade uh, wash medium. Uh, these paints are both uh, from the Army Painter. 
uh, if you don't have these ones uh, you can still use uh, Agrax Earthshade uh, or any uh, like light brown uh, shade will do. Uh, I just uh, mix this with a quick shade medium uh, so it flows uh, much uh, quicker and easier from the flat armor panels uh, because I don't want to, to see any pullings on the armor. I just want everything to go into the recesses. And after you apply the wash, uh, just dry up your brush and uh, collect uh, all the excess uh, pulling that you see on the model uh, while the wash is settling down. Uh, it will help uh, dry the model quicker and uh, it won't create that much shade that later we will have to cover uh, with the paint. So all the excess pulling that you see, you just uh, pick it up with your brush. And this is how our model looks now after like 20 minutes of drying. As you can see all those little white uh, spots uh, disappeared. Now it's time to start highlighting our model. Uh, the first thing I will use a uh, Scrofulous Brown and I will go all around these uh, orange armor panels and uh, I will start covering like 80% of the areas uh, that are painted with the previous color uh, but uh, I will try to avoid all the shadows and uh, all the recesses and try not to go with paint inside it. And uh, to continue with the highlights, I added a little of dead white to the previous color. Uh, it is like maybe 20-30%, it's very little. And I like using a dead white because it's the airbrush color and it's already diluted. So mixing it with the previous brown, uh, it didn't actually require adding any water. The mix was uh, perfect, so I just continue highlighting. Uh, the thing I will do here is uh, I will do a little edge highlights uh, around the armor. So very little area, like maybe 20-30% uh, uh, of the remaining areas. Uh, do the edge highlights wherever you can, uh, wherever it's not possible. Use the tip of your brush and draw a little highlights. And the last thing that we will do, we will pick up just the pure dead white and we will do the final highlight. Uh, this will be uh, very thin lines or just the dots uh, on the areas that you want to define the most and create the, the best effect for the highlight. And we are done with her orange armor and uh, now we can proceed uh, to highlight her cloak. Uh, since I already have the mix of the heavy black, uh, green and the periscopes on my wet palette, I will add a sunny skin tone to the mix so I can start highlighting. I added uh, very little of sunny skin tone, like maybe 20-30% uh, just to get uh, one tone uh, brighter color than uh, original mix. Then I went uh, all around uh, her cloak uh, and start uh, highlighting the raised areas of the folds of the cloak. Uh, don't go inside the recesses, uh, you want to leave them uh, in the shadows with the previous color, uh, but cover most of the areas that are high or they are lifted, uh, like the top of the folds and everything uh, with this color. Uh, you can cover bigger areas, like 80% of it, uh, because we will do one more final highlight on top of this paint. And uh, to finish, 
finish off with the highlights for the cloak. I will add a little of the ivory to the mix. It is like 20% or one little drop from this uh, dropper bottle and uh, mix everything to have a good consistency. And then I will go around and uh, I will highlight uh, the top of the folds uh, wherever I can. Uh, and then when it comes to the edges of the cloak, uh, I will just highlight uh, the edges but uh, not all the way i will just highlight like uh, some parts and then i will skip like in the middle uh, like few millimeters and then i will highlight uh, another one Uh, for all the latter parts, uh, I will use uh, sunny skin tone and I will just go around them uh, with the tip of my brush and uh, do a little stippling and pull out uh, little scratches uh, all around to create a worn leather effect. And that is all actually I will do on the latter. I will now focus on highlighting the black armors. Uh, so I will pick up uh, neutral grey and uh, I will use this to highlight her pants. Uh, I will highlight only the folds of the pants and uh, uh, like uh, all those uh, raised areas that she has. And then uh, I will use the same paint uh, to highlight uh, all the armor panels, like on her boots, uh, there is a couple of on her legs as well, uh, her face mask and uh, I will paint the sword with this as well. And the next thing that I will do is I will go back to the dead white and I will use this uh, to be my final highlight for the sword and all the armor panels. Uh, only thing here is that I won't do any highlights uh, with the white on her pants. I will leave her pants uh, as it is now. One of the last details that we need uh, to do is the hair. Uh, I will just take the old wood and I will remove most of the paint from my brush and I will just pull the uh, edges uh, using like the side of my brush and highlight the, the braids of the hair. Uh, the thing is, uh, if you want, uh, you can uh, dry brush the hair as well at this stage. Uh, just be careful not to mess uh, any uh, of the rest uh, of the paint job that we already done. And uh, to finish off with the sword, I will use uh, violet ink and uh, I will just do uh, one uh, light pass uh, with my brush and then I will let this ink dry. Uh, because we already highlighted the sword with the grey and with the white, this will create a very nice effect. And the last thing is, uh, I mixed a little of white uh, with the violet ink and uh, just did the final edge highlight uh, on the cutting edge on the sword. And uh, that's it guys, uh, this model is done. Uh, if you're interested how I did the base, uh, I will include the video uh, to that uh, link uh, in the description down below. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did uh, 
please leave a like and subscribe to the channel it will really help uh, this channel grow and it will mean a lot to me and if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the section down below and this is all for now see you in the next video stay safe take care and uh, see you soon bye bye